Hi everyone, welcome to this week's workspace tour. It's May the 4th today, so may the 4th be with you. There's actually a lot of new things. It's a new month, so it's a new workspace. This week's uh, this month's workspace is called Wah, Work at Home, the workspace. Um, so the goals, the overall goals are the same. We're just trying to keep everyone engaged with school and keep our brains active. Okay, so there's a lot going on this week. Um, first of all, St. Jerome's is having a virtual um, spirit week. You can find all the days here on this form. And every day you're going to find a different flip code. And this flip grid code will take you to where you're going to add to our um, spirit day. So all you have to do is click on the flip code It'll take you to Flipgrid, and just like normal, you're gonna log in with Google, and then you're going to make your Flipgrid. Every week, or every day, there's a new prompt. So day one is Jersey Day, and then day two is Be Innovative Day, and that's a day we want you to build a structure. Day three is Be Community, and we want you to dress up like a frontline worker or a superhero, or you could just make a sign of support for you, a uh, healthcare worker. Um, day four is a virtual book club, so we want you to recommend a great book. And day five is Be Well, and it's a dance contest. So all of this is here in the in uh, Flipgrid. Um, it's a little different than normal because it is moderated, because this is for the entire school. So you won't actually see your video until Mrs. Nazarella or another St. Jerome teacher approves it. So don't make a whole bunch. We are only ho we're hoping that each student or family will just make one um, video per day. Um, you also have a link to our, our class website. I've been trying to stay on top of posting all the new work that you guys have been doing. So check it out. I've been putting up some of the new work. So check that out. Um, the biggest new, uh, the newest thing in the workspace is this badge card. So I just thought it would be fun and a, kind of a fun way to keep you guys motivated as the weather is getting a bit better. Although this week the weather is not looking great. So you'll have lots of time inside to do lots of work. So as soon as you click on this card, it's going to make you a copy of this badge sheet. And as you do tasks in the workspace, you're going to get rewarded with a with a batch. So I'll show you what I mean. So you've already been to the workspace and it's going to give you a badge. And I made all these badges um, myself. Um, so you can kind of check those out. And so as you're clicking and doing things in the workspace, you're going to keep getting badges. And then if you click along here, along the bottom of the sheet, it'll actually show you your badge collection. So that's kind of cool. Um, here also is just the link right to Flipgrid if you don't feel like going through um, there. Um, as usual, there's a, a Google form for you to tell me how it's going. And um, the grade six team, we actually made a little picture for you guys of all of us so you can check that out. And then as you scroll through, um, you're gonna see all the activities. So let's start first with language arts. There's a huge change in language arts. All these activities here that we've been doing the month of April are now just extras optional. I know you guys are really enjoying six minutes. I know you're enjoying Diary of a Quarantine Kid and 100 Word Challenge. So all of those are still available for you, the reading log, but these are just extras. If you have extra time or you really like working on them, then keep doing it, go ahead. But what I really want you to focus on is poetry. And I know when we were talking on our Google Meet, people weren't super jazzed about poetry, but I'm really excited about this workspace. So it's divided into three sections. One is called Explore, and this is where you're going to be kind of exploring the world of poetry. Why should we read poetry? There's an article here. And then um, there's um, a great uh, Google form asking you questions. And then poetry in real life. This one's you're going to really like. It's actually um, where we find poetry in unexpected places. And the first unexpected place is here. And it's a Microsoft commercial featuring Common, the rapper. And it, the entire ad is, is a piece of poetry. 
Then you're going to go back into the workspace and we're going to try something new and it's called Jamboard. It's part of the Google Suite. As soon as you click on this, um, everybody will have the same access to this Jamboard. So what I want you to do is to add sticky notes about where you would find poetry in real life. So, And you can change the color of the sticky note. And then you it'll just see, and you can move it around. You can make it bigger. And if you don't like what you did, you can delete it. Okay, so um, this is where we're just gonna be sharing where we find poetry in our lives. Um, and then um, I want you to read a bunch of poems. So right here, there's um, all, this little chart will actually take you to a bunch of poems. Some of them are, are just um, to Google. Some of them are actual poems I've put together for you. So just if you click on them, they will actually take you different places so you can read some poems. And then as you um, explore down, the next part is called explain. And this is where you're going to learn about the different types of poetry. I really want you just to learn one about one type of poetry each week. And you guys get to choose what it is. So it could be a concrete shape poem. Um, and then you're going to explore like what it means. Um, Sometimes there's going to be videos, sometimes there's just text, and then um, there's links on how to make your own. This one especially is really cool. You'll probably want to check this one out first. As you're each week, as you are learning about each type of poems, I want you to come here and I want you just to kind of jot some notes down on what you're learning. Okay, so don't submit this card until the very end of May when we're done poetry. You can like add if you learned something about a haiku or you learned um, something. So things I've discovered about different forms of poetry, interesting facts and details and questions I still might have. So I will be checking in on this. So if you are kind of confused about something, I can help you out. Then as you come down, this is called apply. This is where you're going to be applying your knowledge. And what I've given you is this poetry anthology and it's just in Google Slides. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be making your own poetry book. And each of these is um, hyperlinked to the slide that has that on. Now, you don't have to write. Uh, I don't know why it's not going. There we go. You don't have to write nine poems. You're only going to have to write four poems. So um, here in each. So this is where you're going to be making a, an acrostic poem. So really enjoy this, guys. This is going to be a really great way to be creative. Uh, and as I said, this all this other stuff, six minutes, diary of quarantine kids, this is just totally optional, little extras. If you're really enjoying doing something, then keep doing it. But I'd rather you focus on poetry. Math this week, we're uh, learning how to uh, multiply by... 10, 100, 1,000, multiply and divide. So the first thing I want you to do is you're gonna come here and it's another Jamboard. And this one is for Star Wars Day. And this is a which one doesn't belong, Star Wars style. So here is the, the prompt. And then you're gonna go to the second sheet and this is where you're gonna write your reason why which one doesn't belong. I've already started as you can see here. Then um, you're going to do a Pear Deck about learning how to multiply and divide by 10, 100, 1,000, and 10,000. There's a couple videos in here. Oh, just make sure that you're actually going, starting at the beginning. Sometimes Pear Deck does that and you kind of jump to the middle. So you wanna make sure you're gonna be right at the beginning. Here it is. This is, this is the slide you're looking for, the power of 10. Okay, and this is a really cool Pear Deck, guys. Um, I've talked a lot about baking, and there's a really cool th um, thing. There's a new thing called audio now. So if you click here. Hi, guys. Since we've been off school, I've been doing a lot of baking. So now they've added an audio feature, so you'll be able to hear my voice. And um, I talk a lot in, on all the slides, helping you to kind of Maybe imagine that you're still sitting in our portable. Um, the next activity you're going to do, and if you're not sure how, um, 
how to do it, you can watch a video. But basically, I've made you a, a digital crossword puzzle all in Google Sheets. So if you hover here, it'll give the clue for across and down. So every time you see like a letter, you're going to see the math problem you're solving. I've also put them here as well. So you're going to write, um, so for A across, it's 3.2 times 10,000. So then you're going to just write the answers in the boxes. Okay, so that's all you have to do there. And it's just, it's pretty quick. Then for some extra work, I've added some math games. All of them are on decimals. Um, so this one's all decimal games here in Math Playground. And then there's another one. This one looks really good. So I would love for you to play these ones. Obviously, focus on the grade six. But if you want to play the different grades games, you totally can. But there's tons of activities here to do. And of course, you can always do Mathletics and Knowledge Hook. Um, the last thing you can do is there's some extras to do. And you earn badges and your little badge sheet for all of these things here. So the first thing, um, it's Catholic Education Week, and I've given you a whole bunch of activities that you could do. So the top part is actually from um, the school board. So these are all things that you can do. So for example, you could send a message of hope to someone in your family, or you could send one to one of your educators. You can email Mr. Slack or somebody in the school. It doesn't have to be. And if you do, like CC me, I'd love to read it too. Um, you can send a letter or a card to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau or to Father Gerard or even Pope Francis. Um, there's a whole bunch of ones here or down here. Make a chalk drawing that promotes hope. Take a photo of it and post it in the workspace. And I might even share it on my Twitter. Um, paint a rock with a message of hope. Um, I was running today with my husband and along the path in Osgood, somebody had placed these beautiful big rocks that they had painted and they had lovely messages on them all about hope and smiling. And, and it, was, it really did brighten my day. Uh, you can make a meme or a digital poster um, that sends a message of hope. You can write an acrostic poem about hope, or you can make your own activity of, um, to ignite hope and post it in the workspace. Be creative. And you can just post it here. If you're looking some for quotations to help you, um, I've, I've given you um, some quotes here. Some of them are Bible readings. Some of them are from saints that you can include in your poster or on your rock. Um, and then there's some, a lot of fun things. It, you know, the weather's not supposed to be great this week. So you can uh, play around and teach yourself how to use Google Draw. So you could draw yourself as a potato. <laughs> We've done that before. Um, you can also um, practice your multiplication. This is a really cool Google Sheet because as you answer these questions, the photo will reveal. So it's pretty cool. So as you're answering, more and more of the picture will come. There's lots of challenges here that you can do. There's five of them. So, and they all reveal some sort of picture. So if you're not finished, don't um, submit the card because then you won't have access to it anymore. You can also be a memer. You can uh, make yourself a meme here. Like we've done this, I think, in the past. Um, so here's the template if you want to make a meme. If it's really good, I'll put it on my Twitter. And actually, um, on your badge um, on your badge sheet, there's um, you can get a badge if I share your work. on. So every time you do one of those activities, um, you're going to come in here and check it off. So as soon as you do... The math warm up, you check it off. Oh, I did May 4th's Pear Deck and I did all the activities. Oops. Check it off and then you're going to get a badge for that. Scroll down. Oh, I wrote a poem. Check it off. I uh, went into the religion workspace, which I'll show you next. I listened to six minutes. There's a whole bunch of badges here, guys. I went on Knowledge Hook. I um, did a school spirit challenge. So, you know, really explore this. And I've added some extras at the bottom um, just in case I um, think of other fun things to do this month. I, I, I wanted um, the badges to keep on going. 
Um, we will quickly take a look at the religion um, workspace. <clears throat> really quickly oops so there will be a link right from um, from the workspace but here it is this week um, we're going to be focusing on uh, Mary M May is the month of Mary so there's a nice little slideshow here there's actually a little um, movie about Mary and who she was and why she's so important to the church so you can watch this cute little video about Mary. And then um, there's um, a whole thing about the history of Mother's Day. And then there's a little thing from Kid President. And then your task for religion this week is to kind of crowdsource some good ideas and how we can honor our moms in this weird time we're living in. So uh, I know that it's going to be a little harder to celebrate Mother's Day this year with the stores being closed and restaurants are closed and we can't go visit grandma um, in the same way. So <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to go onto the Jamboard and you're going to offer your idea and maybe it'll help somebody else out in the class on some ideas for Mother's Day and some creative ideas of how we can honor our moms in this era of social distancing. So that's everything that is going on in grade six this week. I hope everyone is having, um, is safe and is not too bored. Um, please reach out to me. I sent a bunch of emails to all the students last week. Everybody got an individual email, so check your emails. Um, reply. I'd love to hear from you because I really do miss you. Take care, everyone. I'll talk to you soon.